I am from the Congo, uh, that's where I was born. Back home, uh, people have the same feeling that this time of year, but it's a lot more about family, uh, about the church, about the tradition. Witnessing the little play about uh, how Jesus was born. I've been part of the play actually twice. I, once I was an angel, Andrew Gabriel, the other one I was uh, Joseph. And it's all about the grandma's food also after the church, because like everybody uh, is around there. And when she said on the table, people are just running to the table because they know that food ain't gonna last because it's so good. My grandma, she raised, she raised all of us pretty much, you know, she, she's a strong woman. She's my role model. I love that woman too, <laughs> to my soul. I love her. You know, in the middle of struggles and everything, she always finds it in her heart to help others. Honestly, uh, I'm, I'm thankful to be alive. I survived war. I don't know where I would be today if I wasn't given a chance to, uh, to play basketball and actually go to school. So those are the things that I'm always grateful about. I'm grateful to be alive and I'm grateful to the opportunity that was given to me. Felfi has showed me like what it means to live in the community. Here we have a very supportive system, people that support me on and off the court. And that is something that I learned at Felfi. Like you don't have to do everything by yourself. You can ask for help and it's okay. You know, you don't look weak by asking for help. And that is something that I used to believe. I try to base uh, my leadership in unity. There's even a say that says, uh, if you want to go fast, walk alone. If you want to go further, walk together. So that's what I kind of trying to get my team to, to walk together, you know, brothers, uh, all like as a, as a chain, you know. So as long as we're part of that chain, you know, we can always move forward. I don't have to be the best player on the court, you know. I don't have to be the one making 30 points a game, but I definitely have to be the one working the hardest. And that speaks louder than just leading the team by talking. It's kind of hard sometimes not to be home. I'm the first son, and I'm the role model of my, my brothers and sisters, and I would love to be there for them. I miss uh, not seeing them uh, grow up. I wish, I honestly wish that I could spend Christmas with them. I don't know if you're a believer, but I'm, I'm really a believer, you know. God put me in this path uh, for, for a reason. And I'm a follower, and I'm a work hard. He gave me uh, an opportunity to be great, not just good. And I'm a work hard to get there. All I can say is be grateful for the people you have around you. You have to be grateful for being alive and you have to love and cherish each other. That is all about Christmas. It's that family time. It's that togetherness time. It's that change.